What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to create some chromed out shiny metallic typography using a pencil and paper, Photoshop or Illustrator, and Adobe Firefly. All right, the first move is to actually go a little bit on the analog and old school style by actually writing out your type on a piece of paper with pencil. Once you have something that looks sim similar to this, go ahead and take a picture of it with your phone and upload it to your computer and drop it into Illustrator or Photoshop. You could do this in Photoshop with the pen tool, but I like to use the pencil tool in Illustrator because it's a little bit faster. Go ahead and make sure you are on your pencil tool and then double click your pencil tool and make sure your smoothing is set up to the right like this and make sure your options fill new pencil strokes is checked and then everything else should look like this on the screen then hit okay the next move is to make sure that your stroke is turned off and then you want to be painting in black because this will be black type on a white background so all i'm going to do is trace what i've already created and once you have your typography all traced out go ahead and get it scaled up and then feel free to save it out as a JPEG and we're gonna go drop it into Firefly. Now head over to firefly.adobe.com. All right, as soon as you're in text to image, we're gonna go down to the prompt and the prompt for this one is gonna be shiny liquid blobs of metallic chrome isolated on white. And that'll take us into the Firefly workspace. And before we go any further, we just gotta get a couple things squared away. That being that we are working on widescreen 16 by 9, so switch that out. Make sure that you hit photo. And then on the structure, this is where we're going to eventually upload our typography. And then in styles is where we're going to upload the AI texture that we're creating right now. Now I'm going to start hitting generate until I get the texture that I'm looking for. And when you start to see things that you think are going to work, just go ahead and hit the download button and then save them on a folder on your desktop and then we'll use those as our reference images. Now here are a few of the images that I went ahead and put in my reference folder so you can kind of see what we're working with. Now we're gonna to go to the structure section and upload our typography. Then we're going to increase the strength all the way to the right. Then we're going to go to styles and do the same exact thing by uploading the metallic texture we just created. On this one, we're going to increase the visual intensity just a bit, and then we're going to drop down the strength just a bit because it gets a little too funky sometimes. Now, once that's all set, we can go ahead and hit generate. And like that, we have this awesome chrome texture placed within the typography that we just created. And now you can go ahead and download the ones you like or hit generate until you find something you really like. There are a few that I downloaded and I'll go ahead and drop one of these into Photoshop and go ahead and mess around with the color and the background and make the thumbnail. Hope you guys like this video. Now go out there and make some awesome art and design.